This video will walk you through how to create a course inside the My Language Labs 2012-2013 release. This video applies to any course you are trying to create on any of our My Language Labs in the 2012-2013 release. To create a course, first you will need to make sure that you have instructor access to our My Language Labs program. To get instructor access, you can contact your local Pearson representative and request access from them, or from mylanguagelabs.com, you can go under Register and click on Educator. You'll always be able to access your My Language Lab course and to set up your course by going to www.mylanguagelabs.com and choose Sign In. Click Continue. And now log in with your username and password that you have set up or was provided to you by your local Pearson representative. You will then be brought to your Pearson portal page and you will always have access to the 2012-2013 My Language Lab release by clicking under your courses and products and choosing the link that says 2012-2013 release. You will now be brought to your My Courses and Test Bag page where now you can search our catalog for the textbook you're using with your My Language Lab. Choose Search Catalog. And here you'll have the option to either search by textbook or browse by discipline. A quick and easy way is to just simply type in part of the name of the textbook you're using. For instance, for my Spanish Lab title, we have one book, Arriba. Type in the word Arriba and click Next. Notice too, you can also browse by discipline and select the discipline that you're teaching and you'll be able to search our catalog of all the available textbooks for that particular language. Notice now you're going to have two options for every single title we have available inside our My Language Labs catalog. Notice you see select course and notice you also see select program. Both of these will provide you with the content that correlates with your textbook, including all of the course materials, including e-text, in the Select Course or Select Program option. Most of the time, you're going to want to click Select Course. This will allow you to create one course off our catalog that has all of the content and materials available and set up for you. And then you can customize any of these settings and create assignments. If you are a coordinator of a program and you would like to set up a master course that, or what we also call a template and then be able to build additional sections and courses off of this master template which you can have program administration ability and have other instructors enroll into the sections you're creating and managing. If that is the case you are going to want to click select program. Also if you are not a coordinator but would just like to be able to manage multiple courses of the same text under one program so you can if you're teaching three sections this semester and you would like to set up your assignments once in a template and then create three sections to go off of that template you would want to choose the select program option. We have a separate video walking through how to choose select program and the steps provided afterwards. In this particular video, we're going to walk through how to select a course and build and create one course off the catalog. I'm going to choose select course. Please also keep in mind that you have the correct edition number and title. You'll now be asked to name your course. This is also the name your students will see. A lot of instructors like to name these courses something that is similar to what the students will see on their syllabus and in their university registrar when they're enrolling into a class. For instance, if this is a Spanish course, you could say Spanish 100, Section 1. If you happen to be teaching Section 5, just put Section 5 in. Notice too, it'll automatically fill out the start and end date uh, of today and then moving forward and extending out a year. You can de decide to change the start date at any time. Keeping in mind, the start date will allow your students the ability to enroll in your course anytime after the date that you have set here as your start date. 
The end date also will control when your students will no longer have access to this particular course and course materials. Keeping in mind that the student did purchase access for two years, they would be able to enroll in any other course in, with that particular textbook. They just simply would no longer be able to access your specific course materials after the end date. These started end dates can be adjusted at any time during the semester. You can also provide a description as well if you'd like. Please keep this description short. It will appear on the student's homepage and this is not a place to type a syllabus in. You do not need to give a description. You can also leave this field blank. When you're finished, click Finish you will be brought back to your My Courses and Test Bank page and you'll see a notice saying that your course is being prepared and will be available soon. At this point you've done everything you need to do and you can log back out and log in. In a few minutes your course will be there or you can simply keep refreshing the page until your course loads. Notice right away you are given a specific course ID number that's located right underneath the name of your course. This is a very important number that you will need to provide to your students so when the first time they log in, they will come to a similar page but will not have your course link available right away. They will have a blank page and they are going to be able to choose the word enroll in a course. When they do this, they'll be asked for a specific course ID number. This is the course ID number that appears as soon as you create a course off the catalog, you will see an ID number. You can highlight or write down, right click, copy, and paste this ID number anywhere that you feel your students will be able to find this ID. A lot of instructors like to provide this ID number in their syllabus, post it in their Blackboard or WebCT or other course management course. Once your course is available, you'll be able to edit any of your course information, including the name and start and end dates, by hovering your mouse over the name of the course, choosing the options arrow, and selecting Edit Course Info. This will allow you to change the name and dates. Notice too, you also have the ability to copy this course. Here is a best practice or tip that you can apply. Let's say you're teaching more than one course of Spanish 100 this semester, and this could be applied to any language. You may want to just create one course off the catalog first, name it, go into this course, and make your assignments for the semester. Adjust any settings, upload your syllabus, and any other customizations you want to make to the course. Once you're done, then come to the options arrow and copy the course. This will make a copy and include any of your assignments and settings or changes that you have done to the course prior to choosing copy. You can then rename the copied course an additional section number and you will then have a specific extra section ID number for that particular course. You would then hand out the IDs accordingly and be able to manage both, both courses. Please note that this is a one-time copy. Once you've made a copy, that particular new course that you've copied is its own unique instance. And so any new changes you would make to the course would need to be done in each section individually. Also, at the end of the semester, you can also copy this course, which would remove the due dates off the calendar, but allow you to know which activities you had previously assigned, and it will also save any of the settings, changes, content you've created or uploaded, and any gradebook settings all saved so you can easily move on to the next semester. We have a separate video walking through how to copy a course in more detail. This concludes how to create a course inside your My Language Lab.